kids, today we will learn about our most important friend, air. So let's start. Air. Our Earth is surrounded by air, which we call as our atmosphere. This layer extends up to many kilometers above the surface of the Earth. All living things need air to live, as all animals breathe in oxygen, which they get from air. All plants breathe in carbon dioxide, which too they get from air. So there can be no life without air. Kids, can you tell how much air is there in this room? No because air has no fixed volume. Now, can you tell what is the shape of air in this room? No, air has no fixed shape, but it takes the shape of its container, like water. But it takes the shape of its container, like water. Let's see an example. Here is a balloon. Now let's fill it with air. Now this balloon has air. What is the shape of the air in the balloon? Air has the same shape as that of the balloon. Now let's see if the air has some weight. Let's see. First of all, weigh an empty balloon. Now weigh the same filled balloon. You will find that the filled balloon has more weight than the empty one. So we can say that the air has some weight or mass. Here are some things that shows that the air takes up space. Balloon, tube, tires, bubbles, all these things are inflated because of air in them. It shows that air occupies space. Have you seen air or felt air? Let's see some things that makes us feel the air. When we switch on the fan. When a hairdryer is switched on. When you see a kite flying in the air. A parachute in the air. A wind wheel. All these examples shows us the presence of air. Kids, air is present just everywhere. Let's see how we can prove it. Here is an empty glass bottle. Is there anything inside it? No, you will say it's an empty bottle. Let's see, is it really empty or not? Turn it upside down. And now, dip the mouth of the bottle into the bucket. It is filled with water. Does the water enter the bottle? No, water is not entering the bottle, and we are required to apply a lot of force to keep it upside down. Now tilt the bottle slightly. What do you observe? A bubbly sound, or some bubbles coming out of it. It shows that some air was there in the bottle, which came out. And when the air came out, only then the water enters the bottle. So water filled up the empty space that the air had occupied in the bottle. This activity shows that air occupies space and air is present everywhere. In every empty thing, there is actually some air. It's not empty. Now, let's see what is air made up of. Air is a mixture of gases. Nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide, some rare gases, dust particles, and water vapors. 78% is nitrogen, 21% oxygen, and 1% includes carbon dioxide. 
some rare gases, water vapors, and dust particles. Now let's see some uses of air and how air is important for us. Moving air, that is the wind, has great force. It enables the movement of sailboats and gliders. It runs windmills, which are used to generate electricity. Wind also helps in the dispersal of seeds. Air supports combustion. That is, combustion or burning is possible because of air and more precisely oxygen in the air. If there is no oxygen, there can be no combustion. Let's see an activity to prove it. Take a burning candle and now invert a glass over it and observe what happens. After some time, the candle will go off on its own. How did it happen or why did it happen so? It is because the combustion uses oxygen in the air and when all oxygen is used from the air in the glass, the combustion stops by its own as there is no oxygen left in the glass. So kids, there can be no combustion without oxygen, which is present in the air. And we need combustion for just so many purposes. We need combustion to cook many types of food. We need combustion to generate heat. We need combustion to produce electricity in thermal power plants. We need combustion to run many industries and even run vehicles as engines of vehicles too run with the help of combustion of fuel in them. Even for hairstyling, we use hair dryers to dry and style our hair. Air is used to keep us warm too. Woolen clothes are worn because there is air trapped in small places in the woolen fabric. So kids, today we learned a lot about air and we should do our best to keep it clean and fresh. Now go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. And if you want to see more fun videos, you can hit that subscribe button. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more content. Bye-bye!